I have this 12 inch WiMAX at portable touchscreen monitor and it's got two USB ports on it. Um, they're both USB-C and I also have a mini HDMI. Not micro, not regular HDMI mini, so keep that in mind. Like I said, this is touchscreen and it has come in very handy because I like to you know, diagnose or work on computers or if you have a headless server system and you can plug into it. It's touchscreen so you can access everything without having the mouse and not having another monitor. Before I move on, I'm starting to realize now that I was going to go ahead and just blow past the fact that this thing's got speakers in it and they sound very good. Seven Rhymes and it's a miniature USB metal enclosure condenser microphone with a cardioid pattern. We'll talk about the cardioid pattern here in a second. And another thing that you could probably use this for is to monitor yourself as you're creating your videos as an external monitor. Now one thing that I found out that it doesn't do is allow you to use touch screen while you're plugged in from USB-C to USB-A into your PC. Now if you're going from USB-C to USB-C you're good to go because you also have to do your HDMI out like an external monitor you would do with any computer but then the USB-C to USB-C is very important but if you go USB-C to any other adapter, you're not going to get that touch screen capability. The Amazon description says that this thing is a gloss surface. And no, that is a matte finish. That is a, you know, it's, you don't see glares very well on this. And so I love the panel. It's a matte finish, not gloss. And I think it's going to benefit you, especially when you're traveling across country and your kids are using it or your wife's using it and you don't have to worry about the glare. When I'm diagnosing computers like this, I can just easily just, instead of unplugging a monitor from another computer, I can just plug this in and do all of my diagnosing. I can see everything just fine. And like I mentioned before, it makes it that much easier. Now you could also use this when you're traveling. When you're on the road, you have a switch or you have a Raspberry Pi or you have another type of system that, uh, you know, gaming console, you could use it for that. So security systems, working on this, headless servers, Using this, you know, as a gaming screen for your PlayStation or, you know, you, you can also run the USB into a portable power bank and you can run it for hours because it hardly consumes any energy. So you can run this thing pretty much half the day on just one 10,000 milliamp battery and I have like a stack of eight that I paid like $10 at Walmart for. So those are really clutch those are really great to have especially when you have something like this and i can't speak enough about it the clarity on this thing is absolutely amazing i don't have any problem you know the smaller the text harder to read type situation no i can still read everything very well and if you're looking it comes with this little stand right here it comes with a power cord power bank and uh, not a power bank but an outlet so this is a very impressive little setup and I'm very happy to be able to use this and uh, I thank Ymaxit for actually creating such a product because this thing is durable, it's thin, it's portable, mountable, uh, anything that you could possibly think of to actually use a, such a small monitor just for ease of use, it's pretty much unlimited. So I invite you to check this product out. I give it two thumbs up. Love it. So that's it in a nutshell. Just make sure that when you're checking out at Amazon that you use the $10 off coupon and you've got a multiple use touchscreen monitor. This is another one of those quick items that I wanted to get out to you and it's not a very long video because what's there to say other than it's a very well built solid piece of equipment that might suit your needs. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell, and I'll see you all very soon.